All right, so I got the printer plugged in in the back. Let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, so there's a little light here that glows and the screen started up. And it also makes noises, so it appears to have a speaker. So here it says, unleash your creativity, start. I'm gonna choose our language. There's quite a few of them here. English. Here we're going to choose our region, North America. Here we can connect to Wi-Fi. You can skip this, but I'm going to go ahead and connect it. So you're going to choose your network and then put in your password. All right, we've connected. Here you can connect to the Handy app, which is Bamboo Labs mobile application where you can control the printer from. I'm going to skip that for now. Here you agree to some policies and you can scan this to read what they are. Here you can join user experience improvement program. So not too sure what that is, but we'll skip that. So for next part, the printer wants to calibrate. It's going to do vibration compensation and then motor noise cancellation. And it's going to take about seven minutes. So we'll go ahead and start that. And there we go. So we can see that the printer does work. Everything's moving up, down, left, right. And also the bed was moving. So here I can see that the wire definitely does not need to be on the back as it will be snagged. So it might actually be a good idea to maybe put them together like this, but, but we'll do that a little bit later. We're going to let it do its thing. We don't need to be touching because it's doing compensations. So you guys can actually, well, I can hear that the motors are going quieter and quieter as it keeps doing that. So they were much louder and now they're much quieter. So it's literally canceling the motor sound. Mostly all you hear is like the bearings moving on the rail. All right, now it's doing vibration compensation. And it actually shows you the hertz here. 29, 30, 31. There's some stuff on the table that's vibrating, but yeah, it's pretty aggressive. So I think the screen went into sleep mode. Let's see if we can touch it because this is pulsing too. Oh yeah. So it did go to sleep. Or I guess just dim or turn off. But that looks like it's done. So let's click on something here. I guess if you haven't set up your Wi-Fi, you can go back and do it is what it's saying here. And there's our main menu. So let's check it out here a little closer. So we got a bunch of icons on the top. So the first part there is our nozzle and then our bed temperature. And then what appears to be maybe camera and Wi-Fi signal. These are the status. Then we got print files, filament, control settings, and assist. So if we click on print files, we can see there are some that are included with the printer, actually quite a few. And they say what they are there. Very nice. We got puzzles, fabric, flexible panda, looks like it's in multicolor, pocket copter, that looks fun. And also the scrapers here, which they provided the blade. Very cool. So we're definitely gonna have to do that speed benchy there, and maybe that's the first print we should do. But let's go back and check out filament. So here we can load and unload and also edit looks like. Okay, so you can put in here what kind of filament that you're gonna use. Generic PLA one. Okay, so I do have Bamboo Lab PLA, so I guess we'll change it to that. Basic PLA, yeah, pretty much. I think that is basic. And then we have dynamic pressure control, which is defaulted. Oh, very interesting. Okay, and now it changes to PLA there. So let's go back. Here we have controls. This is where we can preheat the nozzle, the bed. Also control the machine speed and then the fan speed. Here we have light on and off. And actually it was already on. You guys can't really see it, but it's not very bright, but it is there. And then we have extruder controls here. And then here we have the X, Y, and Z controls, including the home. Settings, we got account, the firmware, Wi-Fi, and maintenance. 
And then we got device, print options, languages, SD card, screen off time, 15 minutes, lane only mode, it's just off, terms of use, factory reset. So yeah, pretty basic stuff. So if we click on account, this is where you can pair it with your Bamboo Lab account to use the slicer. So let's click on firmware and see if we have any kind of updates. It does say latest. Okay. So yeah, I guess everything looks good here. We'll go back and here we have an assistant and there's no messages. Yeah, it looks quite simple and easy to use. So for next part, let's go ahead and load some filament and I got some original Bamboo Lab PLA, just regular basic. And it's going to sit here on the spool holder. And then we're gonna run the filament here through the tube into the direct drive. So I just kind of butted it against. Let's go to filament and click on load. So it's gonna preheat the nozzle and it's going all the way to 250. So after that, it's gonna check filament location, cut filament and then pull back current filament and then push new filament into the extruder and purge old filament. So it preheats quite quickly, definitely less than a minute here. So it's kind of going into that purge area and there it goes. I believe it's pulling it in now. So here it's saying that there's an action required. The filament grabbed, then click done. If it didn't, click retry. So I believe our filament grabbed actually. I can't pull it out, so but I don't see it being extruded. So let's just click retry. So now it's pushing it. Okay, now I see it. There it is, it's coming out. So I guess we are good now. We're gonna click on done. All right, so now it's purging even more. So if I knew it was gonna do that, I guess I'd be happy so yeah if it grabbed then you just click done and it keeps purging it but yeah so far pretty easy guys all right so it's purged and it's actually using a fan there to cool it off and then it shoots it out right here as you can see there's a little booger there so i guess let's go ahead and start our print now i didn't see anything about bed leveling so it must do that every time it starts so let's just go ahead and start and see what happens so we're gonna click on the file so this is probably going to be a pretty fast print so it's saying that the bed temperature is too high. I'm not sure why, because it's cold, but in any case, confirm. Okay, so here it does give us options to do bed leveling and dynamic flow calibration. And I don't, are these? Okay, so they're turned on. So you can turn this on and off, including a time lapse. That's interesting. So yeah, it's gonna do bed leveling and dynamic flow calibration. Click print. Wow, that's a lot of sounds there and we do look like half camera is recording there for the time lapse. The bed is heating up now. And definitely a pretty nice menu. I can tell that the screen is not super sharp, but it's sharp enough where it looks good. A very pleasant screen and it's colored, which is nice and very responsive when touching it, as you would expect. So here we're waiting for the build plate. All right, so it's at 53, 54, and the printer is already starting to do something I think it's using yeah it's using the nozzle to probe the bed and it looks like we do go to 60 on the build plate so it's trying to get rid of that booger but it's still there kind of oh okay and then it cleans it on the back look at that I don't know if you guys can see but it was actually cleaning itself on the little brushes in the back of the bed pretty clever so now it's cooling off the nozzle and the bed actually went to 65, I guess. And now it's gonna do bed leveling. So it kind of tells you the status here of what it's doing. So it appears it's doing a seven by seven. So I guess that's what, 49 points. And it was actually pretty quick. So now it's preheating the nozzle. And there it goes. So it's purging in the front there. Okay, so it's actually doing extrusion flow calibration. Very interesting. Now it's purging again over there. All right, so it's printing now. And it's going crazy little. So yeah, it's on a roll. It's not too crazy loud for how fast it's printing. It does say it's got 14 minutes left, so it's, I guess, a 15 minute benching. Or maybe 14, I guess, but yeah, it's booging along like crazy. And the fans are not too loud. The movements are not loud either. And overall, it's quite balanced. It does make noise, obviously, at this kind of speeds, but it's quite tolerable for sure. So let's look at the screen here while it's printing. 
So we got the AI saying okay. We got the nozzle, bed temperature, the flow at 100, fans are 100. We have the light here on and off. And it kind of glows right here. And then we got a pause and stop button. So if we want to change the temperature, we just click on the nozzle. And here we can adjust it. And also the bed and the flow rate. So all your settings come up here. And actually, I guess I went to the main menu here where it shows you the file is printing, the percentage, which is 40% done. It's unbelievable. I guess it's a pretty thin benchy there. But yeah, if you click on that, you go back to the printing menu here. So yeah, pretty explanatory and very easy to understand. And this is a progress bar here. Obviously, you get a preview there of the Benchy. And we got 11 minutes left, 41% done, which is pretty incredible. And you can fold this away, and it still is on while it's folded. Yeah, very nice little screen. I like it a lot. And just enough what you need to adjust things. So you can go to settings and do stuff while it's printing, which is kind of interesting. All right, so our 14 minute bench is done and everything's cooled off. And the machine does go, I guess, to standby. And this is pulsing and it's silent completely. So so I wonder how we're supposed to wake it up. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I wasn't pushing hard enough, but yeah. Here we see it says complete. It took 20 minutes total. And I'm guessing that's with a warm up and everything because the bench itself was 14 minutes. So you can reprint it, okay it to be done, or you can report flaws if there's any issues. And by the way, we did use 12 grams of filament and just goes back to the main menu. So let's see how easy this benchy pops off. And look at that, perfect. And this is what it looks like on the A1 being only 14 minutes long. So it's kind of hard to see white. Uh, hopefully you guys can see something there. But overall, very, very nice. We got very even layer adhesion. There is a little bit of layering, but it's quite minor considering this is printed extremely fast. Now it is super lightweight, so it's optimized just for this. There's practically no infill. There is a little bit of something inside there that's not perfect. But yeah, as far as the walls and everything, surprisingly nice. And maybe I'll do another one in black, that way we can see a little better. But if we go up, one thing I noticed is that this cable here just kind of flops around and there is this little clip that was included. It's with the tools. If we look, there's four larger holes and then one smaller one. And the smaller one is for this cable, I believe. So it clicks in there perfectly and holds on and then we can choose any of the larger ones to connect it here to the PTFE tubing. That should be pretty good maybe right here. So yeah, so I think we should see if we can print something else here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the scraper because there is a little kit included with two screws and a blade that we can put the scraper together with. So let's just go ahead and print that out. Not too sure exactly why it's giving me this message, but it doesn't seem to be affecting our print here. And actually I forgot to take off this little purge it did which is also the filament flow rate calibration, I guess. But yeah, as expected, the PEI works very well. Now, I don't think we need to do bed leveling again, so I'll uncheck that, but dynamic flow calibration, I'll leave on. It is a little bit colder now than it was earlier, so maybe that has something to do with it. So let's go ahead and start that. And it does say it's gonna take an hour and 16 minutes and 37 grams of filament. <laughs> So yeah, so far just printing one color is quite simple. The machine does everything itself. You just start it and it takes care of purging, making sure it's offset and all that stuff by itself. So there is a little bugger there on the nozzle. I'm just gonna leave it and see what happens there. Keeps wanting to get rid of it, but it's still on there. So after rubbing on that little rubber brush back there, it fell off. All right, and there it goes. And the offset looks perfect. Very impressive. So yeah, I really love the simplicity and how easy it is just to print as you don't really have to think about it. The machine does everything itself. And again, guys, this thing is very quiet. I got my microphone pretty close to it right now. And 
there's not much noise coming out so yeah all right so we're gonna let this thing print out and then we'll see if we can put the scraper together All right, so our scraper's done. We'll click OK here. And yeah, it printed actually in three different pieces, meaning like it finished this, and then it went to this, and then here, which is pretty cool. So it wasn't going back and forth between the three. In any case, everything comes off very easy. And the bed is pretty much cool. It's 29, so pretty good quality here. There is a slight stringing, pretty thin. Like whispers and yeah it turned out really nice it was actually a pretty quick print so this is the holder it's got the bamboo logo there and here they got little indentions maybe you could put like some kind of a label in there or something but yeah the way this works is we're gonna grab the two little screws and then we're gonna grab our blade be careful it's sharp and so there's two little dimples and they'll line up with the blade and you gotta kind of push it in there where it clips in. And then we're gonna grab this piece here and it's actually not gonna go here, but it's gonna go on the other side right here. And this is just kind of like a thumb thing where you can hold the blade and scrape. And the bolts are actually gonna go through the front here. So be very careful as this blade is sharp. Grab the wrench we need. It's the same one we put the printer together with. And we're just gonna run the bolt down. And then when it starts poking out just a little bit, we're gonna line up the little thumb thing and then tighten it as we're all holding it down there from the other side. And now we'll do the other one. All right, and that's it. And we got our scraper. It's a pretty nice scraper actually. And to keep yourself safe from the blade and just store it, it literally slides and just like that. Look how cool that is. And we got a bamboo logo actually on the front here and the wording on the handle. 